Hello everyone, welcome back to ICT with Heather. Today we're going to do some animation with Scratch. I hope you can remember how to find Scratch. Open Google and type in Scratch. Follow the link. What have we learned so far? In my previous videos we've worked on the basics of coding. You can move your sprites, you can draw with your sprite, and you can even repeat different codes. The sprite. So far we've used a cat. You've learnt to draw and move with the cat. Scratch lets us change the sprite. There are lots of different options. Watch the next video to see how. Here we have a cat. You're going to go to the bottom right hand corner, choose sprite. I think we should use letters, so pick letters. There are lots of different types. Scroll down till you find one you like. I'm choosing H for Heather. Now we have two sprites. We don't need the cat, so I'm going down to the bottom bar. I'm going to pick the cat, press on the bin, and he'll disappear. Now for the background. Scratch also offers us the opportunity to change our background. This can be useful when animating. So far our background has been plain but we can change it. Watch the video to see how. Go to the bottom right hand corner and choose backdrop. You can draw your own, you can have a surprise, or you can even upload a photo. Today we're just choosing a backdrop. Scroll through and pick what you like. I like the party one, so I'm going to pick the party with balloons. Animation. Hopefully you've now changed your sprite and your background. Our next task is to animate your sprite so it moves. I'm going to add another couple of sprites so I spell KHS for Kirkleatham Hall School. I go down to choose sprite, choose letters, scroll down till I find the ones I want. First, I'm picking K. Do the same again. Choose Sprite. Letters. Oops, I've forgotten. That narrows down my choice. And find my letter S. I've reordered them, so I've got them. K, H, S. and I'm placing them at the bottom of my screen. I'm going to events. I'm picking when green flag is clicked. I'm choosing a motion. Slide one second to random position. Oh, I'm not sure that's right. I'm going to put that back. I mean, glide one second to x11 minus 122. No, that's better. I'm going to have a look to see where it needs to be. And I'm changing my x and y coordinate coordinates to minus 135 and minus 37. putting it back at the bottom and I'm going to put another event in. You'll see what this is for next. Broadcast message one. Click green flag. Yes, it moved to where I wanted. I'm putting it back. To 
Maps are coding. We've animated the K sprite to move from its starting position. You need to move the K to where you want it to finish. You can see from the info what X and Y coordinates to add to your code. Watch the video and see how I do the H and the S. Green flag is clicked to make it go. The K is moved. I masked it to stop. I move the H to where I want it. And then I choose the H sprite instructions at the bottom. I go to events. I pick when I receive message one. I go to motion. I pick glide one sex to X one and Y30 because that's the right coordinates that the H is in at present. I go back to events and I'm going to ask it to broadcast a message but message one isn't right. I need to add a new message. I type message two. Now I move the S to where I want the S to finish. I choose from events when I receive message two. I go back to motion. I pick glide one second to the X and Y coordinates. They're in the right place and it should work. Now I'm going to move my sprites to where? No, to the bottom of the screen. Press the green flag. Yes, they've moved to the places I need them to be. Challenge. Well done, you've animated the KHS letters to move on the screen. Can you now add some code to make the animation more exciting? Try to make the letters move or change colour. Watch the video on the next page to see what you can do. This is what I did. You can be far more creative. See if I can give you some clues. First, I picked the K sprite. I'm looking for inspiration. I look in looks. I go to control, I pick forever, and I go back to looks. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to choose change colour effect by 25 and slide that into the middle of forever. Next, I pick the H sprite. I'm going back to control, I pick forever and slide that on the bottom of my code. This time I'm going to choose motion and I'm going to ask my sprite to turn 15 degrees. The forever should make that happen lots. I wonder what I could do with my S. So what happened? Watch the video below and see what you think. Click the green flag. The K moved. It's flashing different colours. The H is spinning. What could I do with my S? I'm sure you'll have better ideas. I look forward to seeing them. If you can, save them and email them to school for us to have a look at. See you next week. Bye.